Hey guys, welcome back to the RC390 project. We're gonna start taking everything off of it and taking a look inside, see what we can find out about the coolant issue. Can't see a lot from the outside. The coolant level is like super small and I don't wanna be dicking around with it. So we're just gonna rip everything off. All right, we're gonna start up front and move our way from top to bottom, getting the mirrors off, the windshield, and then starting with the body work back here. Some hefty mirrors. This is all metal up through here. All right, so my plan is quickly unfolding. The uh, windscreen mount, or one of the windscreen mounts, is down here, so I have to actually take the fairings off first. And there are five. No, they're not a five. These are fives, these are fours. Awesome. <laughs> super convenient to get out. These lovely little plastic pops. Yeah. There's two on the inside holding the uh, radiator guard in. These are those little pop rivets I was talking about. So there's one here, there should be one here, and there's one down there. And then you just use the four millimeter Allen key, push through the center, and you should be able to use a little screwdriver to pull it out. It is uh, ingeniously connected with some zip ties. This thing must have been pretty floppy at speed. <laughs> I mean, at least it's light, but dang, that is all that's holding that on there. I'm a brave man. Oh, great. Let's just pull out. Oh, yep. There we go. I mean, decent connection, so at least it's not like just kind of run into clipped wires. Sweet. Looks like this cowl is just held on by these two little pop screw. Or, honestly, I have no idea what these are called, but they're on like every single automotive vehicle ever, ever. These little pushing clips. Clip on each one. Sweet. 
All right, I've been looking at this belly pan for a second, and it looks like there's two, at least five mils up front, four mils, four mils up front, and I think there's an, a hidden metric eight socket under the engine. Why do you hate me? It's like ever so small, ever so short. Get on it. Oh, there we go. All right, in my infinite wisdom, I neglected to notice that the bracket was actually holding on to the two uh, Allen heads that are in the back. So, didn't need to do that at all. That's cool. So I'll have to reattach that, because it's about to drop off, I think. So genius me. Took off the bolt for the actual bracket here. Focus. I took this bolt out on each side, being like, oh yeah. That'll help it come out. Yeah, there's two Allen keys through here that just mount to the bottom of the tray. So, way to go me. All right, I retightened the belly pan bracket. I'm gonna take the tail off as well. It's starting to look a little bit better for working on. <laughs> bike down on that side stand we can kind of see that the coolant actually falls right about at the minimum line so I'm gonna fill this up to max and then we're gonna run it for a little bit I'm gonna throw a piece of paper under the bike and see if I can see any leaks anything obvious if not then we know we need to dig a little deeper So I ended up overfilling it just a touch. We got a little bit out of the overflow tube. So I'm gonna clean that up and then we'll run the bike. Make sure we're not squirting out anywhere else. So I got a nice piece of butcher's paper under the bike. So if any fluids spill out, I'll be able to see it really easily. The other things that I kind of want to look out for are any smoke from the exhaust and any cloudiness in this oil. So right now it's looking pretty good. You could focus. I mean, this oil looks brand new. So if we see any cloudiness in that, we'll know that the oil and coolant's mixing and make sure that the coolant's not getting oil pushed into it. So those are the three things we're gonna check out while we run the bike up to operating temperature and maybe a little bit higher, see if we can get it a little bit hot. I didn't see anything coming out of the exhaust. Let's check your oil. Oil looks, looks fine. It's about the same as it did before. And there's uh, nothing on the paper below. So we might have to do this a few times, cycle through the, the engine heat. I'm not gonna do it tonight, it's actually a little late and I'm sure my neighbors are loving this. But uh, yeah, we'll cycle through this, see if we get the coolant to keep burning through. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe it was just a 
fluke overheating incident and dump coolant on the previous owner. Might be in luck, might not have to pull this engine apart. So I've put a few heat cycles to the KTM and uh, as far as I can tell the coolant isn't moving. I'm not seeing any leaks. There's nothing going on with the oil. Um, I did drain off a little bit. It looked like the level on the oil was a little full and after reading the manual you're supposed to check it when the bike's warm. So I let the bike warm up, check the level, a little over full. I drained some and this is what it looks like. We've got uh, a nice green color here. But what I did notice is there is a slight line at the bottom of this. Now, this could just be sludge falling out of the oil, but it also kind of looks like coolant. So I'm not exactly sure. So yeah, I'm not sure about the uh, oil situation. The coolant level hasn't dropped at all. My next plan is to take it for a short rip around the block, see if the coolant goes down under high load or, you know, higher RPM. So not too long of a rip, just kind of real short. And uh, I'll probably film that just to get my first impressions from riding the bike. I really haven't ridden it since I picked it up. Uh, but yeah, I think that'll be it for this one. Thanks for hanging out with me in the garage. I'll see you on the next one. And please leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for kind of seeking out this head gasket issue. I figured it would be really easy to spot and it's been a little difficult. But thank you again. If you want to check out uh, some more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you like it. If not, leave me some comments. Tell me what I can do better. Peace.